Hi, welcome to Simply Nash Media. Today we're going to talk about the TVS EC1580 MU SAS RP16 gig. That's a long name. How about for now we'll just call it the 1580 MU. So, this basically is a, a whole new NAS in QNAP. We've never seen anything like this in the NAS industry. Uh, it mixes and matches 2.5 inch hard drives and 3.5 inch hard drives. Now, initially the first looks will be, well, you can't really do that. Um, there's not really a read that will support mix and match like this. Uh, what do we do with this NAS? Well, QNAP have devised a whole new technology called QTR. QTR basically allows you to mix and match these drives and load your hot data or your important data, let's say on the 2.5 inch SSDs or 2.5 inch SAS drives, which are going to be your quicker drive, um, and then put all your cold data on the SATA drives. So basically what this has done is rather than buying, let's say, one NAS box that's very fast and another NAS box that's just for your archival storage, they've kind of merged those into two boxes, into merged those two boxes into one box. Um, this is great because it allows us to have fast data transfers and archival storage all on one box without the added cost of, let's say, buying two or three NASs. Um, the 2.5 inch drives can be SAS drives, they can be 2.5 inch SSDs, the 3.5 inch drives can be SATA drives or SAS drives. So it gives you great flexibility as to how you're going to configure the storage. Uh, we're going to figure out how on Simply NAS we're going to give you some configured options. Uh, but really this is going to be a more quote by quote basis for the simple reason there's going to be so many different ways that this can be configured to your environment and it's going to really be dependent on your use case. Um, so it will always be best to give us a call before you decide to purchase one of these. We will have some configurations on the website but it won't be what you're used to in terms of having let's say 48 to 50 options simply because this would expand up to over 200 to 300 options on this NAS. Um, SSDs are a great option in terms of speed, flash storage has always been great, the prices of flash storage has also come down greatly. So because of that it allows us now to really get some oomph out of the unit. Um, talking about the unit though, you, if you take a look at the front, you've got your SSDs here. There's five of these and then there's of course nine 3.5 inch drives. 3.5 inch drives are just what we're used to. Um, you do have your little sticker up here that teaches you how to, let's say, insert the drives if you don't know how, if you're completely new to NAS. Um, the other great thing about this is it comes with 128 gig MSATA flash installed. You get two of those, so the 256 gig for MSATA flash that we've been used to on the previous EC ranges, um, that's now pre-installed on this NAS. Um, MSAT is great, it gives you lots of flexibility in terms of your data transfer rate, it allows you to cache your data and let's say use your small file transfers or your large file transfers, QSAT, QNAP now let you pick between whether you want the MSAT to work for your smaller files or for your large files, or you can let it work for all of it really. Um, it will basically speed up your NAS quite a bit. Um, because of the SAS architecture of this we can get some serious IOPS out of this unit now. Uh, that being said, it is also 10 gig enabled too. Um, so you can have two quad port 10 gig ports on there for a total of four 10 gig ports. You can have a backup battery module as well. So that allows you to have, let's say, if your power goes up, not worry about shutting down the NAS. You can shut it down quite safely and not worry about your data. The other fantastic thing is they've also released two new expansion units for this and the new TVSEC range. Uh, this is the newest one in terms of the 15 bay being mixing and matching 2.5 inch drives but they have got another few units that have been announced that do change the TVSEC range you get now SAS options on those uh, right now we were only on SATA options however the new expansion units now use 12 gig a second so that means you get a lot more better throughput when you have expansion units attached to this NAS or to the new NASs that are being released um, so because of that 12 gig link you're going to get some great transfer rates. You're not worried about performance degradation when it comes to adding expansion units. That was a worry previously for the simple reason because it was a 6 gig link. I mean, it's fast, but it's not fast enough, but the 12 gig link gives you an option. Also now supporting Mellanex Connect X3. So you get 10, 10 gig and all the way up to 56 gig Ethernet. Um, that's great for all of us that have got 56 gig Ethernet architecture. Um, It'll give us even more IOPS through on the local internet. Of course, internet doesn't use that speed, but it is what it is. 
Um, we still get our four RJ45, so we can use that for internet access rather than intranet access. Um, we'll bring you around the back so you can take a quick look at this unit. You can see me looking down, I'm quite excited to show you the new options at the back. Um, so let me bring you around the back, you can take a look at the unit and then we'll speak a little bit more about this Q-tiering option that